Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, you guys know we don't really like to talk about the golden arches here on our show for obvious reasons, but I think their fries present a kind of a unique situation, meaning that, you know, McDonald's stores are so everywhere. You know, you're out on a long road trip, you don't have all your bananas or <laughs> rice with you, and you go, hey, maybe I'll just pop by there and get some of their fries, right? They're vegan. Or you could be out with a group of um, just regular friends that don't eat all that well, and they pull you in there, and you go, oh, maybe I'll just get the fries. And furthermore, I've known some pretty um, long-term vegans who have been um, eating their fries on and off throughout the years under the impression that these fries are vegan. So I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna lay it to rest once and for all. Are McDonald's fries vegan? And on top of that, are they even like, you know, healthy or remotely not bad for you? So that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. All right, so let's cut right to the chase. On their very own website, mcdonalds.com, they say in clear, plain wording that at this time, none of our menu items are certified as vegetarian or vegan. The oil our suppliers use to partially fry our world famous fries has a natural beef flavoring, which also contains milk as a starting ingredient added to enhance the taste. I have to laugh at how they blame their suppliers for the ones who add in this natural beef flavoring. Like McDonald's has no control whatsoever over that process. Anyway, yeah, bottom line, the fries, not vegan, not even vegetarian. So at this point, I can hear in my head some haters, some pro meat eaters saying, hey, this is just fast food. It's not, you know, a health food restaurant. It's a fast food takeout place. Why would McDonald's even bother to cater to us vegans? Why should their fries even be vegan for? Well, the funny thing is that according to PETA's website, most of McDonald's competitors do offer vegan french fries, places that are not health oriented, such as Carl's Jr., Burger King, Jack in the Box, Wendy's, Denny's, even White Castle, who even have a, a vegan patty. Um, so it's not that McDonald's can't do it, it's just that they failed to realize it's 2015 and they should get with it and offer some healthier options. It's like this is the first year ever in their history that they're gonna close more stores than they will open. I mean, I think they're closing like 700 stores worldwide. Why? Because of declining sales. Well, contrast that with Chipotle, who's known for having a much more healthier um, menu, and they're opening more stores and their profits are up. All right, so no big surprise, McDonald's fries are not vegan. Shock, huh? Well, what if that doesn't matter to you? What if you, know, you don't care about if something is vegan or not? Well, let's take a look at the McDonald's fries a little bit more, and you might think twice about it. Well, first of all, the type of variety of potato they grow is an expensive type to grow. It requires a lot of inputs, a lot of water, a lot of fertilizer, and a lot of pesticide. There's a very common defect of, of russet Burbank potatoes called net necrosis. And you've seen potatoes with a little brown line sometimes or spots that come through it. Well, McDonald's won't buy them if, you, if your potatoes have that. And the only way to eliminate that is to eliminate an aphid. And the only way to do that is with a pesticide called Monitor that is so toxic that the farmers who grow these potatoes in Idaho uh, won't venture outside into their fields for five days after they spray. By the way, that was food author Michael Pollan. Anyway, isn't that amazing? That monitor pesticide that the farmers have to use is so toxic, the farmers can't go out, won't go out into their fields for five days. Uh, and then when they harvest their potatoes, they, they have to put them in these atmosphere controlled sheds the size of a football stadium uh, because they're not edible for six weeks. They have to off gas all the chemicals in them. And another six weeks to gas off the pesticides. Um, Hmm. Well, in addition to that, there's a few other goodies added to McDonald's french fries. First one is TBHQ, a petroleum-based chemical that acts as a preservative. Is that why if you like drop one of the fries in your car and you find it like a year later, it still looks exactly the same? That has happened to me. And it gets even better. There's also something then there called dimethyl polysiloxane, which is a type of silicone used in sealants, breast implants, and is a major ingredient in Silly Putty. And there's also GMO corn, soybean, and canola oils. So I guess I need a reality check. Post your questions and comments down there below. 
Am I the only one that finds it kind of weird that our food system's so out of whack that it's just normal and legal to have petroleum products and the major ingredient of silly putty in french fries and people like me who complain about that are just hippie new age complainers, you know? So let me know what you think about this. And also let me know if you found this surprising, how you've been eating McDonald's fries unknowingly all this time. And if you got something out of this video, like you learned something, hit like and hit subscribe up here or down there for more more information and entertainment for me and Angie. So until next time, keep it carb, but not on non-vegan fries. Keep it carb, baby. So if the I could get a um, heart disease, extra bacon, uh, double bypass, no pickles, heart disease, double cheese, large diabetes and stroke.